the final HLM model that we'll uh, build for the basketball study is the model uh, considered the intercepts and slopes as outcomes model. And two research questions that we can ask uh, based around this model is, is there a relationship between life satisfaction and shots on five when we also include coaching experience? And again, coaching experience is at level two. We can also ask the question, is there an interaction effect on life satisfaction for shots on five and coaching experience? Or do shots on five and coaching experience interact when explaining life satisfaction? Notice in this model, we have shots on five at level one. And then at level two, we have uh, coaching experience, grand mean centered, uh, used to model the slope, I'm sorry, the intercept for the level one equation, and then coaching experience, grand mean centered, being used to model the uh, intercept for shot with shots on five uh, at level one. So we can exam we can uh, run this analysis. It have already set it up, and you've uh, seen uh, how we can do that in previous uh, videos. And so I'm going to add uh, life satisfaction as my outcome variable, and then I will add shots on five as a group centered variable. And then at level two, I'm going to add coaching experience, and I want that grand mean centered. And that, at this uh, B sub zero, will be modeling the intercept at level one. And then I'm going to add, uh, got to highlight that and make sure this is highlighted as random. And then I'm going to add coaching experience grand centered to uh, model the slope for level one. And so I'm going to go ahead and run this analysis. And so you obtain your output. And again, I have an annotated uh, output that we'll uh, look at. Scrolling further down in the output, we can see that our um, sigma square for level one is uh, greatly reduced from the other models, 4.60. Uh, in the unconditional model, it was uh, 14.6. We also now have a little bit of a different um, uh, part of the output where we show the relationship between the intercept and shots on five at level one. And so we can see that uh, on the diagonal, these are the variances. So the variance in the intercept and the variance in the slope. And so if we scroll down to the random effects uh, part of our output, we can see those same values at this level. And of course, this is for the level one uh, intercept. Uh, <clears throat> now, if we scroll down to the uh, final estimation of the fixed effects with the robust standard errors, we can see that the main effects at the main effects of coaching experience on life satisfaction is significant. So this coefficient, 4.78, is significant. That is, so interpreting, the grand mean for life satisfaction increases or decreases 4.78 units with one unit increase or decrease, so one year experience increase or decrease in coaching experience. In addition, the main effects of uh, shots on five on life satisfaction were also significant. And we can see 
this coefficient is significant. So for every one unit increase in the shots on five variable, so for every basket made or not made, the um, shots on five uh, increase the grand mean by uh, 2.88 units for every shot that was made and for every shot that was missed it decreased the grand mean by 2.88 uh, units. But we can see that um, for this part of the fixed effects this really represents um, uh, the interaction between shots on five and coaching experience. So at the intercept, the intercept was significant. So the main effect was significant. We just interpreted that. But this interaction between the shots on five slope and coaching experience was not significant. Very small coefficient, not significant. So the interaction between shots on five, level one, and coaching experience was not significant. So this is similar to interpreting a one-way, or I'm sorry, a factorial analysis of variance in the sense that uh, across the board, coaching experience had a significant effect on life uh, satisfaction as well as shots on five. Uh, but they, uh, this increase was not dependent on a certain level of coaching experience or a certain uh, level of uh, shots on five or a certain number of baskets being made, for example. If we uh, look at the final estimation of the variance components or, again, the random effects for this model, we can see that um, the grand mean is significant and the slope is significant. The shots on five slope is significant. So what this means is that there's other uh, potential sources of variability around the grand mean and uh, variability around the slope of shots on five that could be explained. So perhaps even with this model, we could add uh, more predictors or more independent variables to help explain this life satisfaction uh, variable that's uh, our uh, independent vari or I'm sorry, our dependent variable for this study. If we go down to model fit, we can see that um, the deviance for this model is uh, much smaller than all the previous models. And if we subtract the deviance of this model, the slopes and intercepts as outcomes model, from the uh, means as outcomes model, we uh, obtain 290.84. So that's the difference between the two models, the difference in the deviances. If we then uh, take the number of estimated uh, parameters from the means as outcomes model and subtract that from the estimated parameter from the intercepts and slopes as outcomes model, we obtain two. And so with two degrees of freedom for a chi square distribution at a 0 0.05 significance level, our critical value is 5.99. So again, this 290.84, the difference between the deviance of the two models, clearly exceeds the critical value and indicates that the intercepts and slopes as outcomes model is significantly better in terms of fitting the data than the means as outcomes model. And so if we scroll back up 
to the beginning of this document. You'll notice that this is the model with all our uh, independent variables added. And so we could have really begun with this model based on our uh, hypothesis and assumptions about how these variables might um, interact or not interact to influence uh, basketball players life satisfaction. So this is uh, based on the variables that we looked at for this study. This would be considered uh, the full model. 